what's going on everybody this is paradise cities with my very first tutorial um i finally got my headset that i want um so now i'm able to do some commentary uh to start off everything i just want to do a quick tutorial on um, some of my render settings um first off i have the black magic intensity pro capture card um i use the software that it provides uh, which um, I'm going to run through some settings on the software real quick. Uh, first open up the Blackmagic Media Express. Um, just go to Edit Preferences. Video Format, I pick uh, 720p HD uh, 59.94. Um, I find this the best. Um, at 60 frames per second, I read that there could be some audio video syncing problems. So people would suggest 59.94 on the compression type uh, there's two choices uncompressed or compressed I pick compressed because I think it looks just well not just as great but it's good enough uncompressed you have to have a really good computer um, to run and also it takes up a lot of disk space um, but for most people I would just suggest compressed just click OK and when you record just record your clip and when you're done click stop um, and then you would open up Sony Vegas uh, I already have the video up and everything uh, you can drag the video into here you know, do your effects do whatever you want when when you are done make sure you click file go to properties and the project properties um, here are my project properties uh, with 1280 height 720 field order none pixel uh, ratio 1 frame rate I would match this with your video which mine is 59.940 um, if yours is different like 29 then I would just match that up um, the pixel format I pick 32 bit floating point it brings out a little bit more color than 8 bit which is with they usually put your video at um, full rendering quality this is usually set at good make sure this is at best motion blur Gaussian the interlace method blend um, click audio tab you can mess with this you can make this best this 24 this 48 if you want but the more the higher or the better you make it of course the uh, project size will be bigger um, make sure you click this oh you want to save this so up here name whatever you want to name and click the save button then you would click this to start on new project with these settings apply okay when you're done doing all your effects when you get ready to render file render as uh, I pick main concept ABC slash AAC which is an mp4 file um, mp4 I did a little test between mp4 and WMV mp4 the compression is better the video quality is also better um, so that's why I like to use this uh, once you click that click custom here are my settings um, again 1280 by 720 frame rate match it up you know, a lot of people have issues with the constant bit rate. Uh, bit rate. Uh, say, for instance, you choose four million. Uh, you click to audio tab. You click back. It's back to the default 192,000. What you could do is just click the variable bit rate and put both the max and average at whatever you desire. I usually use 14 million or even 20 million, but sometimes if the video is too long, I would crank it down to 10 million um, uncheck to pass and make sure deblocking filter is checked audio again you can put this at what you want but it shouldn't be lower than this this should be the default uh, project make sure this is at best and again save your template put your name or the name you want and click save click OK put your file name and then save and it will render it. Um, rendering would take depending on your computer uh, anywhere and also depending on the 
video size length uh, anywhere between you know 10 15 seconds to an hour or if you have an older, older computer it would take a few hours um, I just want to talk real quick about the capture card again I have the Blackmagic Intensity Pro um, and a lot of people have debates between this one and the HD PVR uh, if you look at it this the Intensity Pro is a lot better than the HD PVR um, first off the Intensity Pro uses HDMI uh, the HD PVR uses component uh, HDMI is faster than component however if you don't have an HDMI Xbox you can still use component on the Intensity Pro they do give you the required uh, cables for it to connect everything um, I personally use a HDMI splitter because I if you don't have that you would connect the Xbox into you know your in and then there's an out to your TV but however you have to have your computer on in order to see it on your TV uh, sometimes I don't always have my computer on so I have a splitter which I connect the Xbox into and then one to the card and one to the TV so whenever my Xbox is on it's on my TV yes this is an internal card you can only use this on desktops you can't use this on laptops um, uh, another way that's better it not only compre uh, records and compress but you can record it uncompressed however to record it uncompressed you have to have a very fast computer uh, minimum quad core uh, also you have to have extra hard drive you cannot record onto your main hard drive you have to buy a, you know two to three or even four hard drives put it in a RAID 0 format or configuration I mean and you know that would be perfect for this card because if you record on your main hard drive your hard drive is not fast enough to record uncompressed therefore you can have audio video syncing problems and also um, you have drop frames so it, it you have to have a lot of extra money to spend just to set this card up properly uh, if you don't the HD PVR is the way to go um, it records you know the quality as you can look it up on YouTube the quality is really good as well um, but you know I just don't like it as much uh, well that's it for this tutorial um, again I will be making some or I would do some commentary on some upcoming uh, Modern Warfare 2 videos I'm hoping to get more views and subs uh, subscribers um, but uh, if there's anything else uh, please rate the video uh, comment on it and subscribe to me. Thanks.